I'm Dr. Joseph Caprini, the author of the Caprini Risk Score, uh, with the help of a lot of bright people from around the world. This poster describes a unique method of data collection. Uh, given the fact that fatal pulmonary embolism is the number one preventable cause of death after surgery or hospitalization, uh, that can be done using appropriate anticoagulation, but you can't use it in everybody because of the risk of bleeding. So doing a 40 element history and physical helps to sort out those people that are candidates for prophylaxis. And you can prevent over 99% of all deaths using the proper prophylaxis for the proper period of time. Now, how do you collect all that data? That's been a problem so far, but this uh, poster presents a unique method of collection. Two high school students from the Global Thrombosis Forum, headed by Professor Atul Ladu and his wife, dedicated to teaching young people about science. These two young people went to their uh, respective schools and had the okay with the principal to give out a handout describing venous thromboembolism along with the patient-friendly score. Well, they collected 1,200 uh, responses within one month. And this was really unbelievably fast. And uh, what we found from this was that uh, there was a very high incidence of people, 22% of the respondents talked about having a blood clot in their family. Uh, over almost 60% were 41 years of age or less, 28% overweight, 10% hospitalized with infection or swollen legs, and 9% had, had insulin dependent diabetes. Now, what was interesting is that my, uh, my colleagues told me, well, Joe, this is biased. And uh, I, I said, well, that's all well and good. And they said, well, why is it biased? Because uh, students are gonna be helped by their parents and grandparents uh, with, when they come home with homework. And also people that have a history of thrombosis in the family are more likely to respond. And I said, don't you get this? That's exactly the point. This is the way to collect data prospectively before illness occurs. Then they can take that score to their doctors put it in their record, and they will have that ready uh, when the patient gets sick. And I think that widespread implementation of this methodology might result in an improved collection of risk assessment for patients and improved health care for all. Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Sadaldin and I will be presenting this project today. This poster is titled Using the Caprini Risk Score to Increase VTE Awareness in the Community, the Know Your Score Project. Our project was conceived as an extension of the major purpose of the Global Thrombosis Forum, which is involving young students in learning about science and medicine. The program was conducted by two high school students and supervised by Dr. Atul Ladu and supported for consultation by Dr. Joseph Caprini, Dr. Alfonso Tafur and myself. Venous thromboembolism is the leading preventable cause of death after surgery or hospitalization. The Caprini Risk Score is a comprehensive history and physical consisting of 40 elements and is tested in 5 million patients worldwide. Identifying those high-risk patients can prevent fatal pulmonary emboli. And the purpose of our study was to determine the overall risk of these unselected members of the community. We also wish to learn about their awareness of VTE. Two high school students with the approval of their principals distributed an information sheet regarding blood clots and the patient-friendly risk score to their fellow students. Everyone was encouraged to engage their family members and friends in the process of completing this assessment and the data was collected in one month. Our students gathered over 1200 responses the most important finding was the number of family history of thrombosis. Another unexpected finding was the number of young people with high risk scores. Other findings included patients with elevated BMI, diabetes requiring insulin, infection, and swollen legs. We did not anticipate that patients over 75 years and older would qualify for the highest risk category at baseline. Preventing the number one cause of death after surgery is critical. Our exploratory study shows the importance of involving patients and their family members in gathering important personal health data, especially family history of blood clots. Family history of thrombosis is the most frequently missed question 
when scoring patients for thrombosis risk. The Caprini score and the NHS UK score are the only ones that include family history in their scoring system. If family history is missed, it may change the risk of a patient and endanger their, their life, especially if they have a less complex surgical procedure. Our study predominantly scores young people, 41 years or younger. It is striking the number of individuals whose scores are more than 5 and those with scores more than 8. This later group represents a very high risk at baseline. They will all need anticoagulant prophylaxis for any hospitalization or surgical procedure. This table graphically depicts the power of involving patients in their healthcare. The most dramatic finding is the number of individuals with family history of thrombosis. We highlighted the most significant findings, for example, the number of individuals who are young and have a high score, which is totally unexpected. We also highlighted those with diabetes, smoking, overweight, on birth control pills, and serious infections within the last month. Another interesting finding using this method of data collection is the average risk score in older patients. Note the score of 6 for patients over the age of 60 and 8 for those older than 75. These results indicate that all of those individuals will need anticoagulant prophylaxis for any hospitalization or surgical procedure. The concept of gathering family members to discuss important history from the past is incredibly valuable to accurately arrive at a baseline score for a patient. We were surprised at the power of gathering together to help students with their homework. Replication of this project on a wide-scale basis promises lower fatal pulmonary emboli worldwide and is highly encouraged. Thank you for your time.